Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain properties of correlation. Here, I will explain properties of cross correlation and properties of autocorrelation. First of all, one should know what is cross correlation. See, cross correlation is performed in between two separate signals. Cross correlation is performed in between two separate signals and it gives similarities in between two separate signals. While autocorrelation that is performed with one signal only and it gives similarities in between a signal with its time shifted version of it. So autocorrelation is performed with one signal while cross correlation is performed with two separate signals. First of all, let me discuss about properties of cross correlation. See first property that is based on conjugate symmetry. One should know cross correlation exhibits conjugate symmetry. If you have cross correlation of signal 1 with respect to 2, then that will be R of 1, 2 of tau that is equals to R of 2, 1 of tau conjugate. So cross correlation that exhibits conjugate symmetry and one should know cross correlation that does not follows in general commutative property means R12 of tau that is not equals to R21 of tau it is following conjugate symmetry means R12 of tau is equals to R21 of tau conjugate right so here there is conjugate so that is first property now let me talk about second property that is based on orthogonality of two signals See, based on cross correlation, one can identify orthogonality. See, as if you have R12 of 0 is equals to 0, means here delay parameter tau that is 0, as if cross correlation of R12 of 0 is 0, then one can say signal 1 and signal 2 both are orthogonal to each other. See here, first definition of cross correlation that I have written with respect to energy signal. As per the basic definition, here x12 of 0, that is integration is having limit from minus infinite to plus infinite. x1 of t into x2 of conjugate of t dt. Here we have t minus tau, but tau is 0. So here, one can say this integration that is 0 means x1 and x2 both are orthogonal signal to each other. And here I have mentioned this definition with respect to power signal. If you have power signals x1 of t and x2 of t, then here definition is x1 2 of 0 is 1 by t. Integration is having limit from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 x1 of t into x2 of t conjugate dt. Here we have t minus tau, but tau is 0. And as if this is 0, as per this, then one can say x1 of t and x2 of t both are orthogonal to each other, right? Now, let me discuss about properties of autocorrelation. So, first property that is based on conjugate symmetry. See, autocorrelation that we perform with one signal only here we will be identifying similarities in between a signal and its time shifted version of it so here in notation you will be observing i have mentioned one one means we are performing autocorrelation with signal one only right see r11 of tau that is equals to r11 of minus tau conjugate so, as per this, autocorrelation exhibits conjugate symmetry. And as per this basic conjugate symmetry, there are two things that you can note down. See here, one thing that you can say is, real component of R11 of tau is E1 function of tau. See here, if you say R11 of tau, that is A plus jb then that is equals to r11 
of minus two conjugate that is given, right? What it means? Real component that will be same for both of the sides, right? So as if real component is same for both of the side, one can say it is even function of two. But imaginary component that is odd function of two. Why the reason is here we have conjugate, right? So as per conjugate symmetry of autocorrelation, one can say real component of two with autocorrelation function is having even function while imaginary component of R11 of tau that is having odd function, right, as per conjugate symmetry. Now let me discuss about second property. See that is based on autocorrelation for energy signal is energy at tau is equals to zero. See if with energy signal basic definition that is having integration with range from minus infinite to plus infinite x1 of t into x1 of t minus tau conjugate but here tau is 0 so here we have x1 of t into x1 of t conjugate what it means this is x1 of t square so that is what that is energy of this signal so one can say r11 of 0 that is energy of that given signal x1 of t right now let me talk about third property see autocorrelation for energy signal is maximum at tau is equals to 0 so r11 of tau is equals to 0 that will be greater than or equal to r11 of tau so one should know autocorrelation of energy signal that will be having maximum value at tau is equals to 0 right and as you increase the tau that autocorrelation that will be decaying with respect to increase in tau, right. See next property that is based on periodicity. Autocorrelation is periodic with same period t as periodic signal itself. So if you have periodic signal x of t and if you identify autocorrelation that is r11 of tau. So that is also periodic with same duration. So as if it is periodic with same duration, then one can say R11 of tau plus or minus nt, that is this, right, as it is periodic with respect to duration t, right. Now let me talk about last property. See that is based on Fourier transform of autocorrelation for energy or power signal is energy or power spectral density. So if you take Fourier transform of autocorrelation, if you have energy signal, then Fourier transform of autocorrelation, that will be energy spectral density sine of omega and Fourier transform of power signal, that will be power spectral density S of omega, right. So these are the properties that is there with autocorrelation and gross correlation. Now in next video, I will give proof of all these properties. And using these properties in future coming videos, we'll be solving some interesting questions. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.